We know that air travel has almost been crippled with the situation that is going on regarding COVID-19. Planes have been sent to storage for who knows how long and many aircraft will be brought into service as demand picks up but some will be kept in storage longer since it will likely take some time before demand returns to normal. However, there is a whole process to maintaining planes in storage and the process isn't as easy as parking it in a corner and leaving some reflectors in the windshield. In this video, we'll go through that process of storing an aircraft. So, the first thing that goes into parking an airplane long term is the weather. Continuous exposure to freezing temperatures can damage tyres. In addition, the moisture in the air can cause corrosion. This is why many aircraft are sent to storage locations in dry climates with little precipitation. In some cases, where aircraft are put into deeper state of storage, the engines are preserved and sensitive parts such as batteries are removed. While this makes it cheaper to store planes, it limits how quickly the plane can be brought back into service once again. It can often take 120 hours of work to get a plane in airworthy condition after storage. Now, one of the biggest threats to aircraft in storage is rust on the engines. Aircraft engines are built with the idea that they will be used regularly so any length of grounding requires proper maintenance. Engines that aren't operated long enough will rust due to water condensation that often comes from storage. For long time storage, preservation oils must be used on various parts of engines to prevent corrosion. These special oils work better than regular oils used in aircraft engines at preserving engine parts. In addition, the engines are also pickled. The oil is replaced with a corrosion prevention solution and bags are placed in the inlets before they're covered. This whole process prevents corrosion and damage to the engines. Any openings in the fuselage are also covered with special tapes or screens that would prevent insects or small animals from calling those areas their new homes. It's actually quite important to check aircraft for things like nests before operating an airplane. But for short term storage, it is necessary to spool up engines weekly. The engines should be idle for 15 to 20 minutes to vaporize any moisture that may have collected in the oil and the fuel systems. Engine parts should be covered in a new coating of oil to prevent corrosion. Also, auxiliary power units are generally powered up weekly along with the flight computers. Every week airplanes are generally checked for corrosion, every two weeks electrical systems are powered up and checked. About once a month, planes are moved a third of the wheels turn to prevent the flat spots on the tyres. Carpets and seats are also checked for mildew and fuel checks are conducted to check and drain if needed to prevent water buildup, which can cause the growth of bacteria and fungi. Every three months, the rudder and other control mechanisms are powered up and moved. Now, on hot summer days, doors are open to provide ventilation so cabins aren't damaged by the heat. Although this can create problems before the aircraft is entered into service due to dust and sand, ending up inside the aircraft which either have to be vacuumed out by hand or wiped down which can end up being a time consuming and expensive process. So overall whether it's a long term or a short term storage of aircraft, there is a lot that is going on into making sure the airline assets stay in condition where they don't have to sustain expensive damage and can be brought back into service relatively quickly. A good rule of thumb is to always assume that an aircraft will be in storage longer than expected. This way an aircraft can be prepared appropriately from storage from the onset instead of labour intensive preservation techniques being implemented down the line. So there you go captains, that was a brief video talking about the preservation of an aircraft. If you found this video interesting and if you have any opinions or thoughts then do share them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe as always and I'll catch you guys very soon.